back, the rudder looked just fine. But if you look here, these cables have stretched just a little bit. So, when I get back to the shop, I'm just fairly certain, 99% certain, what I'll have to do is just loosen these and take up the slack. And uh, just because those have stretched out, that was the first time that I was out today. And then here's the play that I was referring to. So, I'll go in and tighten up those lines like to leave everything stock at least for this summer so there's a couple things that I'll want to address uh, before we go out again I think they were nothing uh, nothing bad I think overall the kayak worked great um, I need to get used to the balance and whatnot I did stand up in it and test it out as much as I was brave enough to but uh, two things I'd like to show you firstly is right here we I noticed that the steering there was a there was about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of slop in the handle and I talked most of the day about steering um, part of it is me just getting used to steering and then correcting yourself but the problems that we I noticed here and then and then looking um, at the boat when I got back I noticed there's an awful lot of play in both sides here um, so we're going to uh, tighten those back up. Um, I believe I believe there was some stretch, you know, first time out using it in the water. And the other thing is uh, the sidekick wheels work just fine. They work great, actually. Um, but I can't get this back in um, and just try to readjust that. Just so this will will press all the way in the way, way it should. So I'm going to set the camera up and uh, I think we'll do the cables first. So to do this task I got a number two Phillips. I also have my drill driver um, though I, I don't know if I'll use that to be honest um, as I don't want to over tight everything. So I have made sure that the rudder is nice and straight and I'm going to first tighten the rudder down just a little bit which will help snug that up I didn't really like the fit of that Phillips so I actually have a number three Phillips so that's snug so first, with the number two, just want to loosen these screws. I'm not taking them all the way out. It looks like the cord is kind of flattened and stuck to the threads. There we go. So you want to unscrew the the Phillips just enough so we can get the cordage out just unwrap it and there should one of these should be an end there we go and here's our end the rudder handle is straight the rudder itself is perfectly straight and in line and I'm just sighting down the left hand side of the boat looking at the uh, gear tracks actually and that the handle is lined up with them so you need three hands for this but I'm going to provide some tension so as you can see these are nice and taut and we're going to wrap twice around each post each screw uh, clockwise one two one two and then you go back to your number two Phillips that 
down. Again, this side. Number two Phillips and snug that down. Nice and taut. I almost would be afraid that that's too taut, but we'll thread the tails back down the hole. came out the underside so what I'm going to do is make sure these are snug one more time I think for now I'm going to just leave them along the sides of the steering plate and uh, take it out one or two more times, readjust it if needed, and then I'll trim those tails just a little bit so um, the part that we put down the holes uh, isn't doesn't come out the sides. So I'm going to loosen my rudder back up okay let's see there's another angle again you can see nice and taut the handle is straight and we can turn left and right and we don't have that side to side play. Like I said, this back and forth play, I had an, an easy quarter to half inch of play. Um, but that is, that is back to being snug. Let's make sure that this is straight. Take a quick view at the rudder, nice and straight. And there you have it. So I messed around with this for a while before I actually got my glasses on and a proper light and looked at what I thought were uh, set screws with the uh, with the Allen head um, and those these aren't set screws. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just kind of clean out this hole just a little bit. I'm not trying to drill through. I'm just trying to open up that hole just a little bit, um, clean up the edges. I'm not sure why um, today it got all wonky um, because you know the last month or so in the garage, uh, I was taking the wheels on and off and playing with the uh, with the kayak and rearranging things and setting up things um, but uh, I think that'll work let's find out so absolutely that was the issue as you can see pops in perfectly it extends all the way down the way it should and to take it out not a problem I know that some guys have issues with having to align the leg so to speak you know just by adjusting it same with taking it out pulling it out you kind of have to wait a little little bit but you know that's normal you're putting a hexagon shape into a hexagon hole 
and uh, so I don't mind that at all. So I'm do this and trying to. Um, but other than that, the boat worked great. Um, I was really pleased with uh, the battery life um, using the anchor charger. I believe it was a 2600. That was probably more than I needed. Um, I was out on the on the water probably a little over four hours. Uh, press the button on the on the uh, charger and it's still reading a full charge uh, though it ran the the uh, cameras uh, each camera had its own anchor charger but each camera ran four hours straight uh, I just turned it on up at the parking lot and left it uh, but really really pleased so far how that looks I'll have to get in and as I edit it maybe take a look at it uh, the video um, but uh, I believe it was pretty good. I was I was pleased with uh, the way everything worked uh, so far. I had one little instance on the water. I swear I was in deep water, but I think I might have hit something. I didn't see any mark on the back of this propel drive. Um, thinking about that section uh, of the reservoir, uh, spring times when it, there's heavy flooding, uh, it does get uh, some halfway decent sized trees every once in a while get washed into the river washed into the um, reservoir so I think I might have hit a good sized branch um, that was my guess uh, I didn't have the uh, center clip um, that holds the uh, shaft uh, tight uh, in the kayak so it did bounce, you know, it bounced up an, about an inch and I kept moving forward and pedaling seemed fine, the gears seemed fine. Um, so I, I must have just bumped something. So until next time, tight lines. Had to finish up real quick because the kids come out and they're throwing stuff in the garbage. So if they're not making noise, they're going to be making fun of me.